What is up people, Skywalker Hendrix here with another video for you guys today. I am looking at the Star Wars The Black Series Clone Commander Obi-Wan. This is a uh, Walgreens is exclusive. Um, I know this came out a while ago, but it's a special day. As I uh, just did a live stream, my first live stream... With Lukeness Monster, shout out to him for sure. Go follow him, and the one and only out of the basement. Go follow them for sure. Um, just super grateful to be on their live stream with those guys. Great time. I just, I genuinely had a great time talking Black Series with those guys. Just chatting you know it it's just you know we're, we're just chatting it was so fun genuinely had a wonderful time doing that i can't express how grateful i am to those guys for including me in their stream it was just a blast i had so much fun looking forward to uh linking up with those guys again and talking more black series i mean i i just think we had a great time i i don't know so uh go follow lukeness monster and out of the basement on instagram and on youtube of course go subscribe to those guys great channels great channels lukeness, lukeness monster puts in the work every day he comes out with a video pretty much um out of the basement classics you know their classic channel for black series go to them get some good content you know those guys are always great good dynamic there so with no further ado let's take a look at clone commander obi-wan i've been wanting to open this guy for a long time here um i got him for 20 dollars actually from some guy I picked him and, um, I got him and Han in Carbonite for $40, believe it or not. Just like four months ago, five months ago, maybe. Both these guys, both Clone Commander Obi-Wan and Han in Carbonite for $40. It was an amazing deal. Couldn't pass it up. We got the bio on the back. You know, this is an exclusive. We got the classic red box with Clone Commander Obi-Wan on the side with the big font. Obi-Wan on the side of the box. On the top of the box, we got the black. And it's just looking good. I mean, part of me did not want to open this figure, but I just need him on the shelf. I mean... We got that Clone Wars Obi-Wan coming out soon. And I'm I'm going to get my hands on that. I don't care what it takes. But I'm going to get that Clone Wars wave of Black Series figures. The Target exclusives with Echo, Anakin, Obi-Wan, Hawk. It's going to be amazing. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to open my Clone Commander Obi-Wan. It was a good day. Had a good live stream with the boys. You know, you got to do it. So, with no further ado, let's get this bad boy open. All right, and for accessories for Clone Commander Obi-Wan, he does come with a stand. This is nice. Um, I've never seen this in the Black Series before, personally. But this is nice to get with the figure. Um... I don't think he necessarily needs it, but we'll see. think it's a, a neat idea, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it could work for some figures maybe that need it, but I, I just don't see him needing it, but w I guess uh, getting him to, into some poses, we'll see how it works out. So he comes with a stand, which is rare in the Black Series. <laughs> So, he also comes with his lightsaber, of course. I mean, iconic to the character. 
this is like a different, like, at least paint job than the other Obi-Wan lightsabers, if I'm correct. This just looks a little bit different than what we have seen before. I don't know. I mean, the blue is similar to other lightsabers. I know a lot of lightsabers uh, vary in the blue color, but this is looking a little bit bright. But the the colors on the hilt are just uh, throwing me off a little bit. I mean, they look very clean and neat, but it just it looks different than what I have seen personally before with Obi-Wan figures. So, with no further ado, let's look at Obi-Wan himself. Alright, and here is Obi-Wan Clone Commander. Obviously, you guys see it right away. This head sculpt is phenomenal. I mean... They really nailed it, and I'm pretty sure this is the same head sculpt. I could be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure this is the same head sculpt coming on the new Clone Commander Obi-Wan from the Clone Wars, the 3D Clone Wars. This, of course, is from the 2D Tartakovsky uh, Clone Wars, you know, classic all-clone trooper. I do wish they gave us the Clone Trooper Phase 1 helmet that he originally wore, but, you know, it is what it is. Still happy to get this figure. Um, Super cool. This head sculpt is just... It's just amazing. Um, First time opening this figure. I mean, I've seen him through the packaging for a while now and just blown away. I mean... I've always wanted to open this figure, and I was like, you know what, I'm going to do it. Um, There's a Clone Wars Obi-Wan coming soon in the Black Series again. So, I was like, you know what, I'm going to open this Obi-Wan. And uh, his, just, his head sculpt is amazing. Of course, it's Obi-Wan. He needs a good head sculpt. <clears throat> Revenge of the Sith. Obi-Wan, which has a terrible head sculpt. I mean, this compared to that old Revenge of the Sith Obi-Wan is... It's, it's light years apart. So, th I just can't get over this head sculpt. It just looks so, so good. And, of course, the body is un. Unfortunately, and I hate to say unfortunately, because the clone body was a decent body. I I hate to say it's a bad body because, like, I don't know. I, I just feel bad about it. But, um, unfortunately, you know, I wish this was better articulation, but it is what it is. You just get that amazing head sculpt. So, his head amazingly like looks up a, a, a lot and he can look down a lot and he has uh, a little bit of tilt which is uh nice uh gives him a little bit of attitude there i like to see that in a figure you know a little bit of tilt is always nice so good good uh neck articulation head articulation and then we get to the shoulders, he does go up about that far. I mean, this is the old clone body we all know by now. How the articulation is on this, it can, you know, swivel all around. But the arms go up about that far. And I I hate bragging on this figure, but, like, it's it's just outdated at this point. That's why... I am so excited for the new Clone Wars Obi-Wan. But uh, we got a trigger finger on this side, which uh, I wonder. I think this is up and down. Yeah, that is up and down. So at least we got up and down swivel right there. You know, he's got soft goods, of course. They do lay very nicely. You know, sometimes you got to fidget with them, but they do lay very nicely. 
His robes just look really good. Obviously, this is not 100% accurate to the 2D Clone Wars as he would have a mullet here. But, you know, it is what it is. He does have a little bit of ab, ab crunch as well as side to side there. Very nice to see that, you know, just gives him a little more range if he dynamic poses. Unfortunately, though, you got those arms, but I don't want to rag on this guy too much. I, I don't like ragging on figures all that much. So he does have swivel right there. These are the only old legs, which I do like. I, I do like the old legs, actually. So uh, those look really nice, obviously double jointed. Um, and his cloth does, again, lay very nicely. And for his foot, he does get back about that far before it runs into the sculpt. And it does go forward very nicely as well. And, of course, rocker. And all around, the sculpt is very nice. I mean, even in a neutral position, like, he just, he does look very nice just in, like, a normal stance. So all all in all, like this figure is really really nice. Happy, very happy to have this in in my collection, especially getting it for retail price. So long after it came out, you know, I got it maybe a couple months ago, and I still got it for twenty bucks, along with Carbonite Han Solo for twenty bucks, thrown with it. So. Yeah, that was a good deal. Very happy about that. Shout out to that guy who uh, gave me that good deal. Um, So yeah, 100% recommend this figure. I mean, if you don't have an Obi-Wan on your shelf, maybe wait and see if you can get the uh, new Clone Wars Obi-Wan or the um, rumored Archive Obi-Wan. But if you really love the 2D Clone Wars, get this. I mean, it's super nostalgic for me. That was like my Clone Wars when I was a kid. Like, it was just anticipating Episode 3, watching the 2D Clone Wars was amazing for me. So this is very nostalgic for me. Love and to have this on the shelf. So, maybe just wait it out if you absolutely need an Obi-Wan and don't want to pay so much for it. I know probably not a lot of people get the same deal as I got on this. But, I'd wait it out to see if you could get one of those two uh, upcoming releases. One to be rumored, but or one is rumored, but, you know... I'd wait it out maybe a little bit if you absolutely just need an Obi-Wan. But if you just want this one, I'd say definitely get it. It's amazing. The articulation isn't quite there. But it just looks so good. I mean, it it really just looks really good. So, super happy about this figure. 100% recommend. Again... Uh, go check out the live stream that I was just part of on Lukeness Monster on YouTube. Me, him, and the two out of the basement boys were on the live stream having a blast talking Black Series, you know. Go like that. Have a great time watching that, you know. Uh, their links... The links to their channels will be in the description below. So go check them out for sure. Appreciate those guys so much. And that is my review. I will get him in a post for you guys. And that is my review. Alright and here is my post for Clone Commander Obi-Wan. And I'm a little bit of a vanilla poser. But... I just think this looks really good um, for the figure in general. Um, 
I don't know. It just, I think it uh, looks good. He's kind of pondering something or ready to command, you know, the battle. So, 100% recommend this figure. Again, go uh, check out the links in my description. Uh, leave a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.